Sab Sabi Familia. So I'm being real it's a little rainy out this side. It's about to come down. So I figured, you know, I was with my self love, self care, and I was really getting comfortable feeling lazy. So I figured I'm just gonna go enjoy the rain. I love the rain. Cleansing, relaxing, food, cartoons, me, happiness. Like, come on, bro. It gets no better than that. So we're just gonna do something real quick. Real easy before I go enjoy myself. I'll probably come back on the table after it stops. All right, so let's get to it. Oh man, the sun's starting to come out. Spirit's like, yeah, nah, you're not using me as an excuse. Now this guy. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, the emperor taking control of the situation. Okay, looks like an emperor has some sort of romantical, charming energy he'd like to come forward with. Or maybe somebody just wants to take control of a situation that they see as, you know, fit, suitable, cute, right? Oh, unfortunately, somebody's like, yeah, no, I don't want to play with you. I don't want to play nice with you. Hold on. There we go. I don't want to play nice with you with the seven of wands. All right, so they want to approach, but you're like, yeah, no. They want to send communication, and you're like, yeah, absolutely not. You've completely turned your back to these people, places, and things. They're clearly a divine masculine. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here, bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. So somebody wants a reunion. Yeah. And it looks like you're very much unaware of that, that, that they want to give to you, that they like for you to be the receiving party of their time, attention, and, you know, anything that has anything of value. All right, okay. So it looks like Divine Masculine is definitely ready to take charge and move forward. And he's showing face that, look, I not only do I have the license for the chariot, but you can see I'm in the chariot. Like, come on now. All right, so bro's serious. Bro's ready to make his move. Bro's ready to make his mark. Okay. All right, hold on. Four of Wands. I guess I'm going on right here. Boom. He, I want to say he's his... I almost said infatuated, but the King of Cups is it's much more than an infatuation. It's I don't know. It's his his emotions are honestly driving him to move forward towards success, towards victory, towards somebody who don't want to hear from him. Now, I just gotta be real. I gotta call it spade a spade. All right, so we have the Page of Wands with the H Ace of Cups. All right, maybe he sent the message before. And it was rejected, or maybe he approached the situation before, but he didn't approach appropriately because he came for it as a page of wands, exciting, enthusiastic, but you know, not really mature, suited, and ready for this endeavor. All right, okay, four of swords, and that had him sick. Clearly, he had to heal in the time that he spent out in the cold. All right, did a little bit of juggling on how he's going to be victorious, how is he going to be successful? We got here. All right, so he's been pondering, he's sitting back, he's thinking about how he's going to come forward and have this reunion. Okay, so he was a page before, I ain't going to lie, he was a page before, but now he's an emperor, so he's not even the same energy. All right, and it looks like that depression and the sorrow and all that grand stuff is what's leading him straight towards victory and success. Once he lifts his head, he'll see it, it'll be very clear. All right, but right now he's healing. All right, maybe he doesn't recognize that he's all healed up. All four swords are definitely on the wall. All right. But once he recognizes that he's healed and he lifts his head and stops crying over spilled milk, he'll recognize, bro, I got this. If anybody's got this in the bag, it's me. It's just a matter of divine timing. All right. Okay. So I guess it's it's the time is, is now, I'm assuming. Looks like he's ready to take action. All right. All right, he, he, he's, he's, he's not 100% sure if he wants to take action at this moment. Okay, I get it. Seven of Wands, defensive energy. So he's kind of holding back with the Four of Pentacles, but notice the Six of Pentacles. He definitely does want to give to the situation. He does want to invest in... Oh, there you go. He does want to invest in this Seven of Cups. All right, it's just a matter of divine timing. All right, this karmic wheel spinning in his favor. All right, this isn't too shabby. I hear the thunder coming back out. Yeah. All right, so apparently there's some things that may be hidden. Um, I'm assuming from the Divine Feminine Energy with this Moon card here, but this is all hidden from her. She seems to be minding her business, thinking that the cycle is closed. It looks like he wants to revisit this cycle being reopened. All right. Mm, they're definitely matching. Queen to the King of Wands. Okay. Come on. 
There we go. Boom. What do we got? Seven of Cups. So somebody's in their head. There may be a scent, a small hint of confusion, possibly, because it's taking so long for this energy to move forward, right? All right, but with the judgment card, it looks like final decisions are finally being had. All right, verdicts are coming to fruition. All right, we're going to reconcile what's going to happen in this situation. Mm, a tower, something being exposed, that they're coming forward to fight for this. So maybe this has been a fantasy for this feminine energy for some time, and it's looking like it's finally going to happen. That's dope. Okay, okay, I like it. Queen of Cups, you little sweetheart, you... So yeah, it looks like this is actually gonna, even though she has some firm boundaries, she is gonna take that leap of faith. All right, that's cool. And she's definitely a sweetheart. And this is gonna make her the happiest, happiest woman of cups there is, woman of emotions. All right, so this is very good. There's a potential for these two to heal something, for these two to make things happen, for these two to be happy in each other's graces and their presence, okay? All right. It's a little too smooth for us. We don't usually get nice, quick, and easy readings just like that. So let's, what else you got for us? Okay, so delayed communication with the Page of Swords. All right, let's see. Okay, so let's illuminate a little bit of a light onto a Ten of Pentacles. Okay, generational wealth and success. Very comfortable, lavish lifestyle. Now we've seen that she's the Queen of Pentacles, very abundant, but she's humble. You never be able to tell she's as popping as she is. Okay. It's taken long enough, but Six of Cups, somebody's returning, a returning lover, returning soulmate, but definitely a sense, a hint of nostalgia. Oh, looks like this isn't just her wish fulfillment. It seems to be their wish fulfillment as well, because they're just watching, you know, waiting to have this communication or conversation, however you like to look at it. All right, so maybe there was a Queen of Wands. That kept this energy stuck in their head, but it's looking like whatever cycle with her is over and done with. Okay, so now he can pursue this Queen of Cups. Is that accurate? Is that is that right? Hold on, what's this? Ten of Swords. Yeah, so this situation is over and done with. There was apparently a Queen of Wands in the mix he was in cahoots with, which was the blockage, which is why you were probably blocking him off in the first place. We're divine. We don't we don't entertain those antics. We don't have time for that. Absolutely not. Right? Which is why you put up your boundaries. You feel me? You know your worth over here. What do you think this is? You feel me? Hold on. Mm. I wasn't trying to go for that. You know your worth. You put your boundaries up. Think you're going to come over here and play house and then run home to the one that you over here think you're matching. All right. At the end of the day, I'm a boss. I'm an empress. Talk to me nice. You feel me? Okay. That's right. So now we got the five of wands and the five of pentacles. So now the conflict has been thrown out in the, in the, in the, to the basura. Like it's, it's no more. There's no need for us to have any beef because she's not here. So if she's not here, that means me and you could be there. So, like, what's going on here? You feel me? Okay, so Empress. Here comes an apology. They're manifesting it, trying to come up with it. And this is what you're unaware of. Okay, this is what you are unaware of, my friend. Ordale. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, so we got the seven of swords. So it's looking like this is sneaking up on you. All right, this may hit you out the blue. You may not realize this, but you've manifested this. I only say that because it's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, you definitely manifested this. Mmm, what's your film? Anywho, this is definitely going to sneak up on you out the blue. All right, you may be mining your beeswax, doing your own thing. And then out of nowhere, here it comes. Okay. Okay. All right, bottom of the deck, we have somebody rushing in here, seizing an opportunity with the swiftness, moving at the fastest. Okay. I'm almost seeing this as she kind of stumbles across a message, stumbles across something like that. That's a little different. I don't usually interpret things. But she stumbles across a message, and it looks to be a message from her Ten of Cups, the person who she's meant to have her happily ever after with. Soon as he seizes the opportunity and gets himself out the head so he can balance the scales, bro. Get come on, get moving. Chop chop. Jeez, what's going on here? 
Okay, so in the bottom of the deck, now we have a nine of pentacles. Okay, so she's over here minding her business in her own lane. Very abundant, very much nurturing, grounded, down to earth, stable, reliable on herself. Or relying on herself, excuse me. Okay, alright, so I knew there was more. I knew there was more. Alright, we're still manifesting, using all these tools readily available to bring about the de desired outcome. Now, she's unaware that she's manifested this. Okay? Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, so she's, even though she's spiritually inclined, she's actually unaware that she's manifested this. Somebody's having a bit of anxiety about the message that will be sent. Is this going to work? Eight of Pentacles. I have no freaking clue if this is going to work. I hope it's not manipulation, but I don't think it is. We need forgiveness. We need to take this to a higher level. We need marriage, but this is what you're unaware of. They, they see a lot of marriage. They see family. They see investing. They see a future with you. They want to take this leap of faith. Oh, look at them manifesting their Nine of Cups. And so cute. Or is this the Nine of Cups manifesting this? I don't know. This could go one of two ways. I don't know. But this is looking pretty good. Okay. Nine of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. All right. So it looks like it's taken some time for this particular high priestess to birth this. Uh, manifestation the reconciliation of something that truly betrayed her broke her heart but it's looking like it's gonna happen successfully all right this is gonna be a good thing this is gonna be good ten of swords with everything is fine we don't have to worry look at god coming through you're about to take your leap of faith and begin your new cycle hopefully with the soulmate that you're choosing but empress let me let you know that everything is fine remove yourself from your head please and the most I would like to double down and say that's the truth and clarity with that. And we will leave this one here. So, Empress, you've manifested, you've unknowingly manifested a reconciliation. That's dope. That's dope. We'll leave this right here. Love you unconditionally. Love and light.